Welcome to the room. No, not that one. This is a puzzle box game where the goal is to open all the puzzle boxes to discover the mystery hidden at the center of it all. It's a very unique series, even among unique series, so please check out the pinned comment. Otherwise, let's get puzzle solving. Let's see what's going on with this. Click and drag the mouse to look around. So we're looking at the box, the talisman. Double click the envelope on the top of the safe to focus on it. So there's a bit of storage to this game, but I know the story also takes a backseat to the puzzling, but the story is very sufficient to keep people engaged as well. You came. I knew your curiosity would get the better of you. Please excuse the mess. My housekeeper banned me shortly after the rest of the world. Yada, yada, yada. Answers inside the box. Is the only one in existence. Is the key to incomprehensible power. Right. So the stakes are higher than you could possibly imagine. If you die in this game, you die in real life. All right, so we got things that are in inventory in the right. We have a key, probably to unlock... Oh, I guess to unlock this. Rotate the lid to line up with the keyhole. Okay, and then we probably put the key in. So it's going to be a lot of this. <laughs> we even have to turn the key. That's funny. That's funny. Wait, I'm actually surprised the amount of control I have. I have to do motions to open stuff instead of just clicking. Okay, so this is our eyepiece. And then feed me and I shall arrive. Give me drink and I shall die. I don't know if that's supposed to be a puzzle because I don't know what that means. I'm now <laughs> fancy as hell wearing a eyeglass piece. It doesn't do anything. Perhaps something's missing. What does the note say? Interesting. Water chug. Wait, no, if I drink, I shall die. Oh God, this is super risky. Well, I'm going to take the risk. Feel like I have to do it for chat. Everything's fine. <coughs> <laughs> just kidding so what's the deal with this thing it is a riddle i was hoping it wasn't because i'm not particularly great at riddles but who knows maybe it's not that bad feed me and i shall arrive give me a drink and i shall die right click to zoom out you'll find the answer on the safe well that's there's nothing oh well there's fire oh so fire it's definitely fire i guess i should give it a push well 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 Okay, sure. There's something unusual about this key. I should take a closer look. Rotate the end of the key. Looks like I can turn the end to make the key into a different shape. So what, I have to pay attention to the shape of the key and the shape of the keyhole? Okay, so we're gonna zoom out. So I'm just looking for something to put the key into. Let's, uh, let's examine this, perhaps, the front. Oh, well, there's this thing here. Look at- there we go. Um, I can't actually tell if this is the correct direction. No, it's not. It's in the wrong shape. It, it's really hard to tell from this angle, I swear. So I'm going to just rotate and we're going to go back. Thank you. <laughs> nice. These seem to rotate, but there are no markings to show the correct position. I need to look elsewhere. Okay, so we're going to look for a diagram that can hopefully show the rotation of these. Well, I can't even rotate it anyways. So I'm going to come back out. I st yeah, I still need a lens as well. That's very important. Right, so there's this thing and this slid. There we are. Look at that. Well, this looks different. All right, well, there's two positions of which, it, which this key can go. Looks like this is one. So what's here? Whoa, inventory object found. An ornately engraved metal plate. The end looks like it could be used as a wrench. And just to get a better look at it. So, well, I guess a wrench could rotate the things. That's how we would rotate this. Uh, maybe something that a wrench could use. So this is something. Come on. Oh, there we go. Loosen this up. Ah, oh, we found the eyeglass. It looks like it would fit in the eyepiece. Holy shit. The game has begun. Oh my god, what am I supposed to make of this? Well, hopefully it shows me. Yeah, it definitely shows some down here, but I have no idea what that means. And then there's like a summoning circle around us. What kind of demonic safe is this? So what I imagine is I want to... Oh, I can rotate this now. Oh, they have to be fixed to the middle one. I see. The middle one's fixed, and then we rotate about it. Um, crap. Nice. Okay, well, <laughs> inside the box, there are several more boxes. God. <laughs> How deep does the rabbit hole go? Well, well, let's take it out for a closer look. Oh, it's a chapter. And we got an achievement, Safe Cracker. What did the game just call me? 
These three seals stand between me and the contents of this box, which of course we all know to be three more boxes, but I guess we got to get through the seals. Let's explore around a bit. There is a cowl. Is that like a cow? It's a cowl and it seems that we have to make a word of some sort. Yeah, we'll figure that out eventually. Looks like there's another pass code to get in this. Unusual characters at this point. Well, here's something. Blank, 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 this symbol. I don't know, it's like a chair with a sword that's stuck into the seat cushion. So obviously that's for the four symbols down here. Chair with a sword stuck. That one, there we go. We know one of them. Let's keep looking. Well, this looks interesting. Can I maybe rotate it or something? A plate with a cog symbol on it. It doesn't seem to move. I also no longer have my wrench. So even if I wanted to move it, I guess I couldn't. A circular indentation, it seems to connect to the mechanism inside. Damn, this is involved. There's a lot of working parts on this thing. What's up top? There's a star. Oh, here's another clue. Okay, okay, so maybe there's four of these hidden about. Let's go with, where are you? There we go, perfect. All right, look for more of those. I'm sure they'll just be around. What's this thing? It do be rotating. <laughs> Anything that's gold we want to work with. All right, well, what's inside? What is this? What is this thing? It looks like a miniature telescope. Please tell me I get to attach it to my eyepiece. I assume we could try this thing, because why not? Mm, looks like a no. Oh, well, what is this? Huh. All right, sure, now it's a natural telescope. Um, now can it go on my eyepiece? <laughs> I just want to have uh, basically a microscope slash telescope detached to my face at all times. What's this down here? Oh, I know there's something on the other side of this. Okay, that works too. A short piece of cotton. It smells of paraffin. How about this thing? Four numbers and then a star symbol. Does this... Okay. There we go. Now the eyepiece is useful. We also see this. Uh, maybe I'll do this and then come back to the numbers. It's the long neck dude dancing in the bottom left. So let's do that. This one. So now we just have the top right to work with. Okay, so what is the deal with that? So there's a lot of numbers, and there's numbers on the outside. So I'm trying to figure how these can directly relate. Maybe there's only four numbers in total that get formed. Because it's like perspective-based numbers. There's a five on the side. Maybe I should just put the numbers we saw... Yeah, there's a five on the left side. I'll, leave, I'll do that for sure. I feel pretty confident about that. There's a six on the bottom. I feel pretty confident about that. What's on the right side? There's a seven. And on the top, there's a two. Oh, nice. Anyways, there was a billion numbers. Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Oh, a note. Uh, some dude's doing research. It's at a snail's pace. You can barely read anything. Oh, but there's something there between earth and fire, between water and air. I cannot see it, but I can see its presence. Like the shadow of the object without substance, yet betraying the shape and the form of that which cast it. It's the final element. Null. It brings meaning to the rest, just as all the numbers of the world are meaningless without their zero. The circle are petty fools, blinded by their dark arts and their greed. Alchemy is not the pursuit of callow gold, it is the pursuit of this. One out of seven. Anyways, what the hell is this? I see, maybe I can twist this. Maybe I can work with the telescope. I'll have to move around a bit. I actually can't move much here, but I wouldn't be surprised maybe the telescope attaches or there's something else. Okay, so this lights something, like the paraffin. All right, what do we got here? So send this up, now in here, so it has a light on, and maybe, there's a light on here as well, let me go out, and then, I don't know, but there's a lot going on with this, so I'll keep messing with it, open this up, Jesus, this looks like the winding mechanism, but there should be some sort of key, doesn't look like a key, but maybe a crank, let's keep looking about, uh, we have all but one of the things, these things over here, that'd be nice, I could just guess. Okay. A heavy cast iron key. Well, look at that. We got the key. The telescope has to be... Jesus Christ. Okay, there's an arrow. There's nothing to see until I've got this contraption working. All right, doesn't matter. Ooh. 
What is this? <laughs> okay, we got a book. I did not expect that. What about this? There we go. Uh, so the same note. We got a- Oh, key, finally. Eh, you know, I'll just assume it's the same note. Let's use the key. Interesting. Anyways, can I please click on this? Thank you. I get the feeling there's more to that than I saw. Would the eyepiece reveal anything? Oh, would the eyepiece reveal anything? Can I watch this while the eyepiece is on? T-R-I-A-L. Trial. Well, this just opens now. Okay, so more of this rotating. Oh, God. Spooky. Ah, oh, we found it. Well, let's do this. We got a seal open. Cool. Oh boy. <sighs> Another box. What a surprise. A box inside a box, inside a box, inside a box. Oh, we can actually... No, it doesn't... Okay, well, it looks like it fit. Like, this key looks like it belongs to this box, but I can't say for sure. It's the right shape, but the hole isn't tall enough. I see, I see. Well, let's try the other side. Not useful, but what is this? Can I rotate this? What did that say? A safe dial, but there's a piece missing. Okay, sure, so we need to find a piece. There's a f note, come on, you can do it. Another note. Okay, this one's got a symbol on it. Uh, McAllister returns with the robbings from Egypt. The pattern continues. The Tibetans call the null element space. To the Hindus it is Hindus it is Aether, and now to the Babylonians it is simply up. The other direction, the realm of Ishtar, of yet more significance is the recurring presence of the hexagonal glyph. The same symbol repeated in cultures separated by countless centuries in the span of the globe. Who will tell me that this is idle superstition at work? When my hands hold the first distilled sample, they will recognize me then. Right, so this uh, relates to absolutely nothing, but I'm sure we'll see it pretty soon. Maybe on the box that just came out. Whatever the hell this symbol is. Let's take a look at this with the eyeglass. Interesting. So I see a two. Is that supposed to be a three with the line? I thought there was a three. Well, maybe that's just nothing. Two, five are the only numbers we need to keep track of right now. Anyways, I am, in fact, potentially looking for just more secret compartments or anything that involves the numbers. Did I do the top of the box? All right, first time up here, I suppose. Holy shit, finally. So can I pick these up? Can I look at these? All right, so these, these symbols. Oh, God. Okay. So, okay, that was a sound. Looks like I want them to all be upright. So they all move in coordination with my camera looking at it. I just have to very precisely get them to be upright. That one's upright. Now the bottom left is upright. Cool. Hey, there's that symbol. Maybe I can look at the letter again. What's that? Oh, it's this, uh, this stuff. I see. Sure. Um, a key hole. Drag. Oh, and this is finally open. <laughs> what a cool looking contraption. One thing this game does right is the visuals. The visuals are very cool. It's really satisfying looking through this thing and uh, manipulating everything. So now we've unlocked the key. I bet it's the key for here. Let's go in. Super satisfying. Here's that star that goes on the very top. We've been here before. Oh, what is this? Right, I'll come back to that, but we have a star. Where were you again? Up here? Someone created this in real life, that'd be sick. That would be sick, but that sounds impossible. Everything up here just got unlocked, so we got a lot to work with. Maybe I should start with the note and go clockwise. June 21st, take note of this date, it is the most significant in human history. I have done it. A human subject was required. The catalyst was my own being. Fatigued by my studies, I entered the chamber without disabling the mechanism. When I regained consciousness, I had succeeded. The null element is beyond curious, being neither quite energy nor matter. I have already made great strides in its study, specifically in how it refracts the light. Tonight, I opened the wine. Anyways, we're going to go this way. Can I interact with you at all? 
no dragging, no clicking. Looks like you just look cool. The star up top cannot interact with that. Let's go over here. This thing rotates, but unfortunately it looks like something I'll have to work with later. But I'm glad to know that it's there. I wish I could pick this whole thing up. Oh, it's the safe part. So that goes on the, the opening thing. Maybe I'll just do that now. This one's gold. There's four of them, right? One of them's gold. Behind him is actually something. I should just do the safe thing right now, but I wanted to see if rotating that somehow if impacts that. Anyways, let's go to this right here. Put it on. And so we have two, five, maybe two, and then three, four, five. They all retracted, so obviously the two, five related to here. I can't click anything? Maybe it affects somewhere else? They all come back in now. Hold on. Okay, so what happens is I go from two clockwise to five, clockwise around the two, and then counterclockwise to five, and that gets five. So then if I go clockwise around like this, that should unlock. There we go. Very cool. Um. Oh, well, hey, we have a two, five again. That was wrong. Wait, that was right. <laughs> two, five. And we got our key. Oh, this is one of those rotatey key things. How many? So, okay, I'm glad it shows me my end goal. Please let me see it's at a different angle or something. So it's one of these ways. So it's probably the complete opposite way of this. Hold on. So there we go. This is our key. Okay. See, when it comes to actual puzzle solving, I feel great in this game. When it just comes to seeing what things are and figuring out what my information is, that's something I feel that I need to get better at. So I figured this would be a good game to get better at that. But when it comes to actually solving puzzles, like that. Nothing else. But anyways, it looks like something that maybe fills in up here. No, 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 it's this thing. No, no, no. Here we are. Two out of three of these things. The second seal is open, one more to go. All right, and this opens. I'm like, please give me something new. Uh, what, what will this let me click on? There is so much to click on, I don't even know where to start. So here's something. Oh, it go, it go up. Oh, and we want that to match, most likely. All right, so now it matches. I'm gonna assume I don't need to do anything more with it. Let me, unless if I need to put that on. Then there's this thing. Oh my God. What the hell? It's hard to tell exactly, but something is missing here. Yeah. Click on things, click on things, click on things. Oh, I clicked on something. Oh, what the hell is that? So that stays for like a little bit. So that needs to like be rotating. Anyways, the only thing I was able to click was this button. If there was something else, well, that sucks. So back out we go. Let's check out this lower area. I assume it's going to bing bong, bing bong. Can't click on any of that. I also have no things to work with. How about over here? There ju is just more to this. Okay, so I'm rotating. There's also this thing. So I noticed that the dark area was in the bottom left corner of the thing. Okay, so that moves over. This goes up. Ah! By God! <laughs> There's more! So the bottom left corner um, is what I noticed, but then I see there's different corners of this. I wonder if these actually correlate to the real life ones. So this and this are in the correct position, and then we need to find these and rotate it so this one has top left corner and this one has bottom right corner. So we need to find those. Wasn't there one up here? That's a square though. Wait, that's the square. So the square is right. Square is good. So now we need to find... So here's this. We need bottom left corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where it is, not where I want it to be. That's where I want it to be. So there we go. Now we just need the final one. And look at that. It's right here. Perfect. So now we should be able to open this. And look at that. We have two things. An elastic band and a large cog. So we, I assume we have to reassemble this machine. Uh, so we have to put on the band of the cog so everything attaches together. The cog, well, it looks like it fits here. Here. Heh. <laughs> Rotate maybe. Oh, well, that does a thing. That opens this. And we get a screwdriver. This is rotating, so clearly we need to lift up these two. So it seems like... As a whole, we need to be able to rotate this cog and also rotate a cog that happens to be here. Can I detach this by chance? No, it will not let me. Wait, no, that this is what rotated. What if I move this thing to back over here? I don't think I want to mess with this too much, but I'm starting to get the workings of this machine. 
So this sliding up is what moved this up. What I'm looking for is either an equivalent or just something similar. Can I inspect the screwdriver? It actually, this is a really, this is, really a, this is a chode of a screwdriver if I've ever seen one. Looking for a place for a screwdriver to go and looking for a place for the elastic band to go. About this thing down here. Well, there we go. Oh, we have to do all four of them, yeah. <laughs> Um, huh. Some rotating gears. Does this stop it? And we get a key. It's a folding key. So what? This is a... Yo, boy. A build-your-own-key sort of deal, huh? I feel like I wish I had a better perspective uh, physically on this key. I, I, I don't particularly like the angle, but whatever. What about this thing? What is this? I, I don't think I've seen this before. Well, I think we know what it's about now. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. It's our key thing. So all I uh, saw was that this goes on top. Let me look at the other two. So this is down up and this is up down. So it's kind of symmetrical. This thing is supposed to just kind of blend in. Maybe like this. Very cool. And now we found another cog. We're continuing to assemble the machine. Well, let's see what this does. Feels like I can take this off again if I need to. That's one way to tell me that I put it in the wrong spot. Well, maybe it's the right spot, though. It connects these, and we probably want to move this over. No, it's the right spot, but removable's nice. So now, this thing moves, and hey, look at that, a medium-sized cog. One more. So, this is removable, so this cog will go here, and this cog will go here. So, let's move that. That doesn't reach. It really looks like it's gonna connect until it doesn't. So, we need a big cog. Oh, wait a second, we have a rubber band. Rubber band we have. It's been a while since I've seen one of those, but I wonder if I could do this, this, and rubber band it. Yeah, I totally blanked that I had that. Anyways, now that that's rotating, this should rotate. And we have unlocked a piece of PVC piping? No, it's a long, narrow steel tube. Uh, it looks like I can manipulate... And there's a key inside it, a small key. Well, I know of a small hole that I can fill with the key. So it's gonna go right here. Hey, it's this thing. Maybe I should all do some testing. I technically don't know what it means. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's make the shape. It's so close. Come on, that has to be it. Let's go, let's go. Well, what, well, 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 what do we have here? A small silver shield. I don't think I've seen this shape before, but I guess it's nice that we have a shield. Maybe something like on top. You know, like these are knights. Knights have shields. How about the, the one that's different from the rest? Take the shield. Oh, there we go. G oval gemstone. I've not seen any oval holes, but I'll be looking for them. Pro possibly on this thing again? Oh, actually, definitely on this thing. Well, how about that? The gemstone. And now it rotates clockwise. Oh, I see. Do I want... I need to have a time. I need to set a time. So, look around for times. What if it's based off the real life time? I think it can read into my, um, <laughs> my computer system. Here, it's 6.03 where I am right now. <laughs> I was right! Wow. Cool. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> and there's the, the inside of that. I don't know what to make of that, but I guess we're working with the inside of the box. Is the code always 604? Because that's that's what time it is right now. It is 604 at this minute. You guys are telling me it was not based off my PC. It's 605 now. So I wouldn't have been able to get it. <laughs> Otherwise. <laughs> Alright, so there's a lot going on here. Very... There's a top of the table, there's sides, so we have to obviously fill in the holes, find these pieces around, world map, based off our real world. What can I interact with here? Does anything do anything here? This goes up and down, this maybe rotate now. Wait, what's this? I've been given a picture. Let's, uh, this picture's cool, uh, it's probably not useful anymore. And then, here's some key, looking for moving parts. Whoa, that did something. It's just an ordinary keyhole. Never mind. Keep clicking on stuff. Why does it zoom in on this? This is... There is nothing special about this. 
By God, does it do that for all of the edges? Oh, it does. I bet I need to have the key on, or the eye hole on at some point. Maybe I should just do a full circle with this first. So is this, does that show up without it? No. Okay, so this is something. Okay, so it's, we pulled that off. Because that was like a fingerprint. I pull this down. That moves to here. This opens this, and there's a box with the puzzle on top. Yet another box, and take a look at this, another letter. My research into the null element continues at pace. Given the nature of its origin, I'm increasingly convinced that it is somehow tied to my very soul. Its properties are becoming clear. It derives a colossal energy from somewhere. I have fashioned a device through which to channel and focus it, but I'm fearful of further experimentation. I lack the understanding to control it. What is going on? So that's there. We have this box. <sighs> Another rotating thing. Dude, I suck at these. Wait, it doesn't match up. Th For real, it actually doesn't match up. This kind of matches up. So only some of it matches up. Can I control anything else in this box? Like, can I move around? Oh, this is a thing that moves. I understand now. So I want that to be able to get in here. And then this can rotate. And as well, I assume I want them to touch. So I need to get onto this piece. So what I think I'm actually going to do is get on over here. Come around this way. And find something that attaches. Maybe like this. Just kind of keep following the puzzle, and maybe, what, this will link up by chance? Okay, what else does this thing link up to? I should find that out. So it links up to here. Where else does it link up to? Let's work backwards. It links up to down there, so actually we were very close before. So we need to kind of go back. <laughs> uh, so this piece, this attaches to the bottom. Okay. So then we attach it to this piece. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh god let's get it on key it's an ordinary key probably for that ordinary hole that we saw let's get out of here okay so now i assume we can rotate this thing so it's a safe can i do anything with this so it seems like i gotta go here and then going here and then if i go here they reset so it seems like I just need to kind of be able to twist it both ways. So we go to here, and then we bring it this way. So this should bring up that, 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 that. Th and it resets there. So that's this is where we go back. So here, fuck, was it this one? I already forget. Dude, my memory's awful when it comes to this sort of thing. And we kind of learn by doing it. So which spot was it? I think it was this one. So now we go this way. So here, 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 then here. I wouldn't be surprised if I have to go back, but I'm going to ignore that thought and keep going forward. I should have listened to my intuition. This way. This way. All the way down. All the way back. Please let it take me all the way. Nice. You'll learn by doing. Whoa. Please tell me this is an eyeglass upgrade. It's a frame for a piece of paper with a viewing lens. So I need to take paper and put it on here so I can observe it. Oh, I have paper here. Yeah, this thing is super insignificant to me because I never unlocked it. So let's take a look. Is, is this the only thing I can do with it? Can I take it out? Turn it over? Maybe with the eyeglass on. Sigil! That, that actually spooked me a little bit, no joke. Sigil! Okay, is there anywhere where I input sigil? What is this thing? This isn't it. I should focus on the size of the box for now. Listen, I just want to explore. Let me do that. Alright, maybe I can't access it yet because I currently don't see any text. Uh, which is worrisome. Maybe if I put this on, maybe I will then see... Nah, no, this does nothing. I swear this thing looked like the thing I could see into, but I... Oh, this moves. Well, holy shit. Well, this this rotates, so I would think this would match up here. Maybe this is something? Like, I'm trying to see this as an extension of this middle part? <gasps> holy shit. Okay, thank you. Alright, so we take this and we slide it out, probably. Does the same work for this? Well, kind of. It's a square hole. Well, so there's two square holes and nothing to put into them. Thank you, square peg. 
Maybe, well, let's see which square hole this unlocks. Oh, now we do the sigil. All right, it's all coming back. L. A giant Thanos dildo. Um, emanating a strange light. A new discovery has shaken me to my core. To investigate the refractive properties of the null element, I fashioned lenses from it. To wear one is troubling and exhausting in equal measure, and I am shown visions that are beyond my comprehension. The visions turn darker the deeper into the earth I go. I've relocated my study to the North Tower. I can no longer visit the wine cellar. Interesting. So we have this thing now. It's not much I can like click on it, so it's probably got to go somewhere. Maybe on this? Cool. Motherfucker. Thanks for gift sub. Beam. This does rotate. So you can change the way the light goes. I wonder... Yeah, there we go. A tight weighted flywheel. So there was another hole, but it was a square hole. I'm still going to try to put the round object into the square hole. Um... And laugh if it works. No, it didn't. <laughs> Alright, let's find something for this fly- Or somewhere for this flywheel to go. Where do we- Oh, maybe I should investigate this further? Oh, well, there's a cross. Oh, wait, wasn't there something? Where was that thing? Wasn't there something I was supposed- Yeah, this thing. There we go. Forgot all about that. Oh, God. Out it comes. A device for reflecting light. Oh, okay. So we're reflecting the beam. Well, to where? Hopefully it just automatically does it. Good. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. Oh, boy. <laughs> what is the deal with this? It's a timer. I don't know what I'm... This is gonna go off? No, this is just on now. So starts the timer. Right, so I need to press the timer and then do something in the meantime. But I don't think I know what the thing I- Oh, shit. Is this just the speed test? What? Okay, so that resets it. And then this one's new? Uh, I- Okay. Oh, found a piece of a map. There we go. Star shaped. That, thankfully, was not as stressful as I was worried it was going to be. Uh, timer stuff freaks me out. I'm not willing to go fast, but this is cool. All right, so one of four. Right, so we did that area. We have this thing. This is on. Maybe this does something now? So what does this unlock? This one. Okay, what does this unlock? This one. And what does this unlock? This thing. A brass key with multiple fold folding parts. Okay, sure. Multi-purpose key. Where was the multi-purpose hole? It's right here. Oh, thank you. Okay, this shows. I am thankful for this. This doesn't match up anywhere. So I'll just leave that like there for now. This matches up here. Unless if this is meant to match up here, but it looks... That looks a little off. This is definitely here. This is nowhere. This is up top. And then these three just go in the bean. What do you mean this doesn't fit like this? Are these just supposed to squeak under the other pieces somehow? Is it slightly wrong? Oh, maybe this one's wrong and I didn't realize. Maybe it's a combination of two of these. Or maybe it's just this piece. My eyes did deceive me. This should work then. Another small reflecting device. Oh boy, time to keep bouncing that beam. Oh, this thing. Yeah, 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 so we go the other direction. St still missing, so it goes in. You can reflect in two directions. Anyways, what is this? Okay, so these slide with no response. No information I can gather from this yet. These don't do anything when I click on them. Very hollow. Maybe with this? So we can see the beam. 
Hold on. Well, so this reflects it. This, oh, there's multiple ways to reflect it. So I, I think we wanted to, did we want to hit here? Maybe we want to hit all of these mirrors. Like this, this, that, that. We want to hit all of them. Um, this has got to, well, this has always got to be here, no? So this also happens to have two mirrors. <sighs> nice. <laughs> cool. Very neat. Whoa! Nice! This looks sick! Lots of constellations. Let's take this shape of the map. I wouldn't even be surprised if we don't even do anything with that top section yet. Dude, we're in a whole-ass planetarium now. This is really sick. Let's just insert this, see what comes out. We've unlocked that. And not much else. I imagine I'm supposed to use my surroundings. Versa. You can see it without that as well. Versa. Versa. They're all Versa. Anyways, I actually don't have much on me. So let's see what I can interact with again. Like, I'm, I'm just straight up looking at the background. Maybe that's foolish. What's this? Another map piece. Okay, well, good thing I did that. I guess I'll just keep using the eyeglass. This unlocks a brass winding handle with a square pin. Finally, we get to use the other square hole. Okay. Nothing. Not nothing. Good God, what am I trying to do? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to make this shape. That's what I'm trying to do. Just gotta find the right perspective. Oh, hold on, wait, this angle almost works. Is there something else like I can move? Never mind, we're good. We're good. What the I'm 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 actually shocked that didn't show up. Um because I swear I did every angle except for that one. Wait, was there another way you could manipulate the thing? Like I had no idea. Uh, anyways, we got a box from it. I could rotate it. Cool. We got a box. Uh, let's explore this box. Um, oh, okay. The box is open. Does this close the box? No, I can't actually do anything with it right now. Uh, well, the box is open. The box is chilling. Maybe I could put the box somewhere. Uh, this thing, star-shaped indentation. Does that? Do we think there's any correlation here? Uh, actually, this looks like a similar shape to what we've worked with. And we found a telescope. So now we're going to be looking into the sky. This looks like uh, the... Okay, that looks like the puzzle I've been staring at the entire time. So an X with the bottom right thing. Okay, seems pretty good. Let's back out. Let's do this. So. The final piece of the map and another note. Note six out of seven, we're getting pretty close. The circle were right all along. How could I have been so blind? I had discovered a passage in there, scriptus nocti, an incantation lacking the energy source to drive it. Well, I have such a source. This night I summon Astaroth, whom the Babylonians called Ishtar, prince of accusers and inquisitors, and he who can discover all secrets. Once correctly bound, all knowledge of the null elements can be mine. I can barely contain myself. There is so much to prepare. Okay, so let's do the map. Possibly finishing up this section. And then we'll have to sacrifice on top of the table. Oh boy. Damn, this game is just beautiful. The table is bigger. It's just one of those expanding dining room tables. We have the top of the table. I assume we're done with the bottom of the table. Let's see what, what I can work with. So, okay, background music, super spooky right now. This doesn't help me either. Wait, can I move this? Fuck. Can I move this? There we go, this is how it moves. Oh, geez. All right, so it's just a, oh. A brass winding handle. Well, I will make use of that. And our final note. 
Something is wrong. I followed the incantation to the very letter. Astaroth did not appear. There are no answers to be had. More questions. The visions have increased. They gather to me, and I cannot stay in one place for long. I try to monitor them, but the lens hurts my eyes. I have mixed the solution for the pain. For those that follow and find this journal, I lack the power to describe this. There is no concept within the human spear with which to explain it. The house is so much larger now. There are rooms everywhere. Hinting at a sequel, perhaps. What about this thing in the middle? Can I put this in? No. Whoops. A small slit in the exact center of the table. Hey, what's this? Interesting. There's an arrow there, an arrow there. Spooky. Do I still see the arrows? Yeah, I do. It's pointing at things, probably things I can interact with, like over here. A small socket. Hey, how about that? So we rotate that thing. I'm gonna have this be off right now so I can actually... Okay, never mind. So that rotates and then this gets unlocked. Okay, what is this? I don't know what to make of that. So it's locked in here. We have a sword. Probably maybe want to find a sword constellation. Sword constellation, huh? Are any of these a sword? Are we building a room? Yeah, it's actually, this is a construction game. I can't interact with that even though it popped up. But I can interact with this. Hey, it's a sword. Okay, so now I have to create the shape again. What else can I manipulate? Like, I, it seems I can manipulate my perspective. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's all I need to do. Oh, I can rotate it. Yeah, I'm like, how do I control this thing? All right, so that that's actually really helpful. What? That's, that's it. There we go. A sword. Oh, no. Okay, we're actually going to kill. I was joking about the blood sacrifice, but now I think it's actually going to happen. Who are we going to sacrifice? Wait a second, this goes in the middle, doesn't it? Uh-oh. Oh, it's okay, we're not sacrificing anything. We're just making a very spooky planetarium. Nothing to worry about here. Alright, so another one of these reveal things. So we just need to find the combo somewhere. That does not help. Alright, so I guess I'll go back to the arrows. The arrow this way? Have I done anything here? Maybe with this? A large circular indentation. So I guess I'm just putting something in there, and I can't interact with this further. Very well. So then there's this thing, and then an arrow pointing to the middle. What about more of this I can interact? Oh, here we are. The spooky solution to that thing that came up. So it's just the zigzag. So it's down first and then uh, switching down and over. Seems good to me. Okay. So we press, press this again. An eye in the sky? The It be moving now. The eye in the sky, maybe I'm supposed to go back here. Oh God, so here's this thing, we have a Y. Probably, maybe I'll do the Y first. They've linked up. And now we create this. Yes. An eye. I'll take it. A gold amulet. Well, I don't know where that goes. Uh, right here. And it goes. Was a lock. You know, this game needs more arrows. I really appreciated the arrows in the middle. So it just told me, like, what's something I can at least work with. Oh, so this rotates the big thing. And I have to find the correct area to rotate it at. So, oh, the arrows rotate with it. I definitely got to have the arrows, well, maybe I don't have to have the arrows point at things, but I can rotate it. Is there anything else I'm trying to connect this with? 
So it's just spooky. Wait. Wait a second. What is this? Okay, so I need to rotate. Well, see how this rotates when I rotate the thing. If it rotates. So I'll just go like a little bit here. Ugh, this rotates. The only thing is... I currently don't know... Oh, I can go in here. Like, it's a four-layer thing. Oh, like that. So, this is another solution for that puzzle. It's just showing me all the sides. So, these two for sure. And this one. I think it was this one. Rotate it more. So, those two. Create a bit of an X. And it looks like nothing else, but let me double check. I don't want to just send it yet. And then the top one. Alright, that should be all of them. It's the sigil! Everything's been building up to this. Here is the thing we've been scouting out this entire time. Oh, I can collect it. It's the energy source harnessing the null element. Oh boy. Where are we putting that thing? Okay, this somewhat looks like the sigil. Okay, so what's in here now? More of these. Can I rotate this? I'm here. I can see all of it. The entire thing. I mean, I have to create the shape. Right, so I can look at all these, but I have not been able to manipulate any of them. So, if I come out... I'm here. Oh, shit. Well, this is what was inside the box all along. Oh, I can rotate it. Well, well, well. Inside... There is even more machinations. Here's the thing. Do I place it on now? Yep. Oh boy. Are we finally going to enter the room? <laughs> After all of this. Chapter complete. Pleasing progress, but do you really think you have proven yourself yet? Oh, we're not done yet. Oh, I guess we're not done yet. Yet another puzzle. A queer sense of movement. Not quite turning, not quite falling. I felt myself cross the threshold and the visions abated. Perhaps they only served to drive me to this place. The route back closes behind me, but a way forward opens ahead. Something is drawing me on. In case you are with me, I will try to guide you along the path. I pray you never came. I pray you are just another one of my dreams. And then there's piano keys. So that's a B and an F. And there's an A here. There's an A, a B, and an F. And then there's the pen and a notepad with a sketch of the null element. Where am I? B, F. Remember that. What's this thing? Jesus, how much more of this game is there? How deep can we go? Here's some sheet music. Please let me interact with this. Guess not. How about this? Well, that's a sheet music. A star-shaped socket. Sure. Alright, let's maybe go lower on the table. Although I guess I'm just going top down, so I might as well commit. Small keyhole. Not much to see here. Maybe I should do this first. Alright, what's this? Interesting. Oh, one of those rotating things. Okay. Interesting. Slide out, and we get a gear. A small gear. Don't know what that's for yet. Interesting. Gear. Oh, God. Maybe here? Looks like gears fit on here, but I could be wrong. Uh, I can't interact with that. Gear doesn't seem to do much. Uh, not much. So we're going to go clockwise around this thing. Uh, next up is this thing. What is that? Can I rotate it? Can I interact with it? Maybe place a gear on it? Not much I can do with that, huh? Okay, how about this thing? This is something I can interact with. Lovely. Okay. 
Don't know what's happening in all honesty. Looks like stuff is just rotating. Looks like it has a full rotation. Or does it? The square does a full rotation. I think the triangle... Yeah, it does. Full rotation. Right, suppressing so that allows it to rotate. Not really getting anywhere from with it, though. I assume this gear isn't going to do shit. Wait, it's a triangle gear, so it should. I just noticed, now noticed the triangle on the gear, too, so... I'm glad I stayed. So this is now I move this. So what, I want to pass these? Turn all these on? Without turning them off. Oh, that's funny. Well, it looks like I got it. And now there's this. What? Wait, what just happened? I turned them all on. Okay, so I, I'm i very confused about the... um. Okay, here's what I think needs to happen. I think we just need to hit the thing on the bottom. And that will permanently be good. And a little strange because this persists. I thought I would have to hit both these in one go, but we're good now. A metal orb. There's something strange about it. Yeah? What's that? Is it the top that... Oh, God. This thing moves. Uh... Okay, open the orb. What? Oh, there we go. Open it up, see what's inside. This do be rotating. Looks like a gear is meant to go here. Or this is where I get the gear from? This is where I get the gear from. Well, I know where this is going. It's a Pokeball. It is, actually. All right, well, that's uh, the gear. Let's back out. I know where this goes. Right over here. Square gear. What do you unlock? A giant drawer with a strange shaped key and some old fashioned tarot cards. Can I interact with anything else here? Maybe with this. Not particularly. It looks like it was just to get this strange key. So, where is the keyhole? That's what I'm looking for right now. Two small holes suggesting something's missing. So, I need to. Oh, okay. Find something different. Is it this thing, maybe? Nice. Huh. Piano. Oh, God. It's a musical box. Alright, so I take this, bring it down. And now we have the next stanza. And then we probably do this again. Because there was... Wasn't there another thing I passed? Yeah, there was another thing I passed. That thing. Yeah, so I gotta get to that thing somehow. What else can I interact with? This by chance? Limited edition English drum table? Oh boy. Okay, so there's a one, two, and three. Well, didn't we see these dots somewhere? Where did I see these dots before? I can't remember. These, yes. Okay, so the one is the dark side of the moon, the two is the swirly to middle, and the three is the S. So, one is this, two is that, and three is this one. Yes. There we go. A coin. A coin with a hole in it. Not that kind. You don't see those much anymore. I always wanted to get me a coin with a hole in the middle of it. Seemed handy, like you could put it on a keychain. Where is somewhere we haven't worked bef with before? That's a lock. This thing. So all this does is move this up and down. So what's the deal with that? Up and down. What does that change? Holy shit! What the fuck is that? It's a metal plate. So then there's something else in here. What did I even do to get this? Here, let's see if I can repeat it. So I had it here. Shit. Oh my god. It's not gonna let me go there. Had it here, and then I went out and looked at this. So then there's a key as well. So we got this thing and the key. So this is where the two holes go, and then the key goes somewhere else. Let's do the handle first. Anyways, let's open this up, huh? 
Oh, hey, it's a piano. So, B and F. B, F. Looks like a coin slot. Oh, it's the coin, finally. And it plays us a soundtrack. Well, that was fun. Can I play? Well, I didn't expect that. I haven't played this in forever. That was totally out of key. Nice. Anyways. So I have a key. The key should go somewhere. Uh, probably here. Um, so this symbol, can I, I can rotate this. Piano, um, piano-esque imagery. What else can I click on? Not much. Can I do this with anything? No. All right, so I got to find the right thing to have this on. So let's back out of this. Look over here. Symbols, right? Maybe the symbols are on the piano. Maybe they are the symbols on the sheet music. Wait, there's two of them now. What the fuck did I just do? But these these two symbols now. Something changed. The only thing is, I have no idea what I did to uh, do that. So that's a little bad. Oh, I see it now. I see it now. Okay, it all makes sense at this point. So the rotation of that correlates to this. Um, so now I don't know where to get the correct symbols from. So when this is upright, there's this symbol. But there's two things. Oh, I see. So this is the one. Okay, so this symbol is when uh, this is lit up. I. It looks like a ladder with rope coming off the side. It's a rope ladder. So we do the rope ladder here. There it is. And then what was on the right side? I actually don't even remember. It was the... I don't even know how to describe that, but I recognize it. Had four balls. There we go. Okay, so these moved. Maybe I'm supposed to go to the top again? Numbers. The rods? What? What? Oh, no. I can. Okay, I can change my perspective at least. What the fuck, dude? All right, I see a three. I see a three. I see probably a seven. Okay, come on. Five, seven, three. Okay, that's not that bad. And in they go again. That was short-lived. A book, a socket for something. For my sock. Looks like a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. So bottom right. Can I move this at all? Oh, geez. So it unfolds like that. What? I don't recognize this. Is this... Oh, well, this is here. But on the other side... Wait, can I interact with this? All right, so I can't control any of these. I can't move any of this. So what's something new I can interact with? Does the piano affect this at all? Is this the theme? Okay. A metal handle. Another metal handle. Two metal handles. No, the end of the piano. They should have left it out. That was, uh, that was my favorite thing to interact with. Damn. All right, well, let's open some more stuff then. These are hexagons. Are these only visible with the thing on? I mean, kind of. I guess not. Uh, what does this do then? So this rotates the cube. 
So now we have to figure out what to do with the cube. So it probably has something to do with the other side. Just got to rotate it so it properly works. Well, two of the blank sides are connected to each other. Oh, wait, this has happened now. Fuck, I actually don't know what I did to get this. The only thing is, I'm not sure what my end goal is. Oh, I can move that. <laughs> ah, okay, now they move. I assume... Well, if I find the... This. It's filled in here. Okay, it all makes sense now. So now I just need to rotate it. So we have, yep, that there. So that goes in. And then I have to get the other ones. Rotate it like that and then send it back. There we go. Cool. A red gem in a metal plate. Well, there was definitely somewhere for that to go, but I've forgotten that too. Oh, it could be here. Actually, it's probably here. So we're just supposed to find other gems, I bet. What have we just done? Oh, we found the other gems. Please let me access these. Shit. It's not that easy. It is not that easy. Well, you know, let's, let's insert the red one at least. Let's do that. So we got that. So now we have just got to acquire these gems. So what can move on this? Anything? Can anything move? <gasps> yeah, these can move. Okay, cool. Okay, well, I see what needs to be done. It's one of these puzzles. But with boundaries. I actually enjoy these uh, sliding block puzzles a lot. These, these are fun. I have a good time with these. What? Okay, so I should be able to take it from the other side. Thank you. And then the blue one's real easy. All we need to do is just kind of have enough of a gap and then send it down. Oh, this stays here, of course. That's not a big deal, though, because I can just do the same similar idea. Turn it around, collect this. And the final one should not be that bad. We just need to free up some space. So free up space, 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 uh, free up the space. Get this all the way out here. Just move this down and over here. So now what I actually have to do is store some back here so I can store these over here and... I would like to store one more and bring it in. Got them all. All the gems. Nice. Hopefully, uh, order doesn't matter. Order matters. Okay, so I can look at this through here. Like this. Whoa. Whoa. Sick. What? I don't know. A little maze here. A big maze. Very cool. Order of manners and you guessed it first try. Well, there's not that many combinations. There's like six. Because one of them is locked in. Alright, so I need to rotate this with something. Um, it seems like just rotating it from the top of the table doesn't do much, unless if... Oh, this does do something. Okay, cool. Sure. I mean, I guess I'll just keep pressing this button, letting stuff happen. Um, you know, let's just start doing things. This is, like, a lot of effort. I think I'm just gonna... You know, let's just slowly but surely try to get it. There we go. I think I want to get on here. Yep, there we go. <laughs> let's let's just do things. It was going to get itself eventually. Big gem. Big light. Okay. What am I looking at? I assume I can't rotate this anymore. Maybe I can. All right, well, well, this rotates now. For what? Okay, so this rotates. Cool. All right, let me take a look. Fucking. So I see it. Now I see that. That legitimately. Now I know where to look. There we go. What do you mean? Okay. <laughs> nice.
Oh, we beat it. <laughs> That's the ending? Huh. You made it through unflustered, I hope, as there will sur sur surely be sterner tests to come. You have taken the first step on a longer journey. I see no benefit in hiding the truth of your predicament. There's no way back, not for any of us. For now, you just trapped as I. Press forward with heart, my friend. There are many more rooms ahead. And with that, the first room game is down. However, there are four full games in this series, and the last two have never been edited on my channel before. So as we go through these mega videos, you'll be seeing some fresh new stuff, more puzzle boxes, and I hope you're all excited for that. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. See you on the next video, have a wonderful day, and peace.